We begin tonight with a political assassination in Poland carried out in public in front of thousands of spectators. The mayor of the city of Gdansk was stabbed on stage at a fundraising event on Sunday night. Now, his name was Pavel Adamovich, a politician known across the country as a leading figure in the opposition movement. Adamovich was taken to a hospital in critical condition. He died from his injuries earlier today. Poland is a country in shock. Residents of Gdansk bring flowers and light candles to grieve for the city's mayor, Pavel Adamowicz. Despite hours of surgery and hundreds of Polish blood donors coming to his aid, the mayor died from his stabbing wounds. Many people in the city knew him personally. For me, it's terrible news, especially since we went to grade school together, just over there. I thought he would survive. I'm physically devastated. I'm very sad because I saw the mayor very often. Moments before the attack, Pavel Adamowicz was praising a fundraising effort for children in need. As the mayor looked out at thousands of people, a man lunged at him with a knife. The attacker then remained on stage, shouting that he blamed the mayor's former party for wrongfully imprisoning him. Then he was tackled to the ground. The 27-year-old suspect is a convicted bank robber who had served more than five years in prison. Prosecutors are charging him with murder. Civil movements have already called for marches against violence and hatred in several Polish cities tonight. But President Andrzej Duda and other political leaders decided not to organize a march to respect the wish of the Adamowicz family. If citizens want to organize marches, spontaneous marches, then please, they can do it. This is always an expression of solidarity. But because the family wants to maintain dignity and wants the least politics in all of this, we have decided that we will not organize any march. But with many residents asking how this could happen, the murder of Pavel Adamowicz is likely to inflame an already divided Poland. Yeah, disturbing story tonight. To talk about that, I'm joined here at the big table by Wojciech Szymanski from DW Polish. Wojciech, it's good to have you on the show. Oh, thank you. L let's talk a little bit um, about Pavel Adamowicz. I mean, he was politically significant beyond the borders of Gdansk, wasn't he? Uh, oh yes, he was he was much more than just uh, mayor in, in Gdańsk and uh, Gdańsk it is a big, it's one of the biggest cities in Poland with big political significance, but uh, I would say Paweł Adamowicz has turned into the face of this liberal Poland that opposes uh, the National Conservative Law and Justice Party that's mm -hmm. been ruling in Poland for, uh, for the last uh, uh, three years. Uh, well, and he has ruled Gdańsk for more than 20 years. He ruled the city with liberal views. Uh, and uh, Law and Justice Party wanted really much to take this city from the Liberals. We had uh, last fall these local elections uh, where uh, conservatives were hoping to win, but they didn't. Uh, Adamowicz uh, uh, won, and this victory, mm -hmm. it was really a big boost of confidence for Polish liberal opposition. What do we know about the suspect and his motives? Well, it's a 27 years old man with uh, already big criminal uh, record. Mm -hmm. He has already been imprisoned. He spent some years in prison for armed robberies. He robbed uh, banks. Uh, but, you know, it's uh, quite disturbing. After he stabbed uh, Mr. Adamowicz, as we saw, as we heard, he stayed on the stage. He wanted to be seen. He wanted to be heard. Mm -hmm. And he claimed that this is his revenge for a wrongful 
fully uh, imprisonment that he uh, had before. Uh, he has heard his, uh, well, he's now, uh, he's now in custody and uh, will maybe hear something more about his motives. So it, it sounds like that he had a, a personal ax to grind here, maybe not a political one, but a, as you were saying, you know, the political scene in Poland is, is very polarized right now. So um, how has the, you know, the death of, the murder of Adamowicz, how has that been received? Uh, well, all political parties have condemned what uh, what happened, and Poland is really shocked. This quite young Polish democracy hasn't seen things like that in the recent uh, history. So really, the country is uh, shocked. Everybody is asking to calm down, to calm down, not to uh, make such uh, uh, political issue out of it. But as you said, the country is very much polarized. So I guess this uh, phase of uh, calming down will not last very long. Well, have, have people been quickly, particularly in, in the media in Poland, have they been quick to assume that there was a political motive here in the stabbing? Uh, uh, yes, of course, very much. Uh, there is a, a very uh, uh, big discussion going on on Twitter. Some uh, side opposing the government says this is the fault of the government, of the government's uh, tongue, the government's language mm -hmm. towards the opposition. Uh, but even the uh, people supporting the opposition say, well, OK, let's calm down. This is really not the best moment uh, to say things like that. Wojciech Szymanski with DW Polish giving us the latest tonight on this stabbing death in Gdansk. Wojciech, we appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.